So there is a leaked document out of OpenAI today, and that's going to be either very exciting or very concerning, depending on how you view things. So let's start with the headline from Reuters. OpenAI working on new reasoning technology under code name Strawberry. Cute name, no big deal. But here's the thing. Strawberry is the project that used to be called QSTAR. We don't know too much about QSTAR because it was veiled in secrecy, but it was believed to be the center of the OpenAI drama back in November 2023. That's where Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, was fired. The board members, including Ilya Suskiver and Helen Toner, and others had voted him out. And for several days, the fate of the company was held in the balance. And right around that time, Reuters broke this story. OpenAI researchers warned Board of AI Breakthrough ahead of CEO Ouster. It was supposed to have advanced reasoning and strong math skills and a whole host of other advanced capabilities that we're just not sure about. Tons of people speculated on what it was, but we didn't know any details at the time. Until today, Reuters spoke to an OpenAI insider, and also it seems to have read internal OpenAI documents that included information about the project called Strawberry, formerly known as QSTAR. How Strawberry works is a tightly kept secret, even in OpenAI. We don't have any details about it but it's capable of carrying out long-horizon tasks, which is something that requires planning, forethought, and sustained action over a period of time. And this could unlock capabilities for models to carry out research. We weren't able to find out what exactly is in that data set, but this new information, plus another detail that we just learned about, could be a little bit scary. In order to understand what's happening and why this is such massive news, let's quickly take a look at a research paper done by Google and Stanford researchers called STAR, aka Self-Taught Reasoner. So here in this STAR paper, AI researchers gave the AI language model questions from a database called Common Sense QA. Questions that are asked are things like, Billy bought coffee and he's waiting for his wife to come back from France. Where might he have been? A squirrel ran up to its home. Where is the small dog likely to be barking up? And then there's five multiple choice answers. So those questions are posed to the model and it's asked to answer the questions, but also provide its rationale. For example, when it was asked, what can be used to carry a small dog? The answer it gave was, the answer must be something that can carry a small dog. Baskets are designed to hold things. Therefore, the answer is basket B. If it gets the answer wrong, it gets a hint and then gets to try it again. And if it gets the answer right or it gets the next answer right after being given a hint, then those answers and its rationale behind the answers gets added to a set of training data for the next version of that model. Another way to say that is that the model gets fine-tuned on the rationale data that it had just generated. So really fast, what does fine-tuning mean? Fine-tuning is the process of taking a pre-trained machine learning model and further train it on a smaller targeted data set. The aim of fine-tuning is to maintain the original capabilities of a pre-trained model while still adapting it to suit more specialized use cases. And this fine-tuning process gets repeated in a loop. Each time, the model gets better and better at reasoning, generating its rationale for its answers and improvements in training data further improved rationale generation. So what does this actually mean? Well, in theory, STAR allows AI models to bootstrap themselves into higher intelligence levels by iteratively creating their own training data. This could be used at getting the language models to transcend human level intelligence. And that's not my opinion. That's a quote by one of the paper's authors, Stanford professor Noah Goodman. He says, I think that's both exciting and terrifying. If things keep going in that direction, we have some serious things to think about as humans. The reason that this is important is because self-improving AI is a completely different technology from anything that we've ever experienced as a species. A lot of people are wondering how AI is going to change this area of life or that area of life. How will it change jobs, the economy? How is it going to change our educational system? Will it automate everything? But the more important question is what if it only automates one thing? On April 11, 2024, OpenAI has fired two researchers for allegedly leaking information. They include Leopold Aschenbrenner and Pavel Ismailov. They worked on the AI safety team 
as well as the team responsible for improving the reasoning capabilities of these AI models. Here's an excerpt from a report called Situational Awareness. He published this since his termination from OpenAI. He believes that soon, within the next several years, we will see fully automated AI research being conducted by AI models. Quote, we don't need robotics for AI to automate AI research. And the job of an AI researcher is fairly straightforward. Read machine learning literature and come up with new questions or ideas, implement experiments to test those ideas, interpret the results, and repeat. This all seems squarely in the domain where simple extrapolations of current AI capabilities could easily take us to or beyond the abilities of the best humans by 2027. Unlike humans, AI models can be copied an infinite amount of times. Automated AI researchers will have enormous advantages over human researchers. They'll be able to read every single machine learning paper ever written, have been able to deeply think about every single other experiment ever run at the lab, learn in parallel from each of their copies, and rapidly accumulate the equivalent of millennia of experience. They'll be able to write millions of lines of complex code, keep the entire code base in context, and spend human decades or more checking and rechecking every line of code for bugs and optimizations. And of course, all of the improvements that they'll be able to unlock for AI will also apply to them. Each smarter model will be more capable of automated AI research. Automated AI research could accelerate algorithmic progress creating an intelligence explosion. The AI systems that we'll see by the end of the intelligence explosion would be vastly smarter than humans. And that's why the last line of that Reuters article, while buried at the very end, might be the most important piece of this whole thing. OpenAI specifically wants its models to use these capabilities to conduct research by browsing the web autonomously with the assistance of a CUA, or a computer using agent that can take actions based on its findings. OpenAI also plans to test its capabilities on doing the work of software and machine learning engineers. That sure sounds like this new advanced model is beginning to do automated AI research. We're not sure where we are in this process, but it sure seems like the acceleration is already beginning. Not sure what to say about that, but I think the Stanford researcher behind that star paper said it well. I think that's both exciting and terrifying. Is this a good thing? Are you excited or terrified or are you a little bit of both? Let me know in the comments and please consider subscribing. This is a very new channel and every sub goes a very long way. My name's Natalia and I'll see you soon. I hope.